I was all over the place. Uh, I lost all my values. Um, I was irrational and I was hopeless. So I decided I was going to do one thing or the other. I was going to die or I was going to get help. So I decided on the latter. And I got help. And I got so unclean. And boy, I needed to. And it's been a wonderful journey ever since. I felt that I hadn't done enough during the time that I was using to uh, address the terrifying rise of the AIDS epidemic in the 1980s. So when I got sober, from my kitchen table in Atlanta, I set up the Elton John AIDS Foundation. <laughs> Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined how far it would grow or how far we would come in the treatment of HIV and AIDS. In 1992, it was a death sentence. There was only AZT, and that was useless. Now, in 2019, there is no need for anyone in the world to die of this disease. We do not have a vaccine, but what we do have are drugs to stop the spread of this disease. If you're HIV positive now, you can lead a very healthy and a long, long life like anybody else. All we have to do, though, is get the prices of the drugs down, and we need to get the drugs to the people who need them the most. The poor, the marginalized, the people who have no hope and face stigma every day of their lives. I can't believe in 2019 we're still talking about stigma with this disease. Um, and stigma comes from fear and ignorance. And there's enough fear and ignorance in the world to go around at the moment. And I hate it. You know, I come and play for you guys. I don't care what colour you are, what religion you are. I don't care. I just come and play. I just want you to be together and have a good time together. I don't care who you vote for. It's none of my business. And I just come here and I hope that for two and a half hours you can go and be kind to each other. We need to be kind to each other. And if there's one thing I've learned as I get older, it's the extraordinary healing power of love and compassion. And this song is about that. <laughs>